Good day, Excellence. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? What is your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. How is Teleme faring on Tirfridi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tirfridi? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. is there. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. 
That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sade, niece of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable, especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I beg your pardon, my lady, but you are not my master. Moreover, the attendant at the guard was quite specific, saying this affair should be handled with extreme discretion. So I seriously doubt that you'll be wanting to drag us in front of a judge. That would stir up the muck. Whatever's he talking about, Kurt? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm certain we can come to an unofficial arrangement. You are clearly the apprentice of a demanding master who expects you to follow orders without raising a brow. Life in your shoes can't be easy. Perhaps we could help you take the weight off your feet. And what would I have to do in exchange? If I give you the merchandise, my master will still demand the price you're supposed to pay me. Not if you were robbed. By pure chance. I mean, it could happen to anyone. What if the guards leave a little extra bonus in your pocket as you look away? And while you're making yourself busy elsewhere, some of my men break in and collect their merchandise. You'll just have to make a devastated... Oh, the dastardly boldness of him face in front of your master and we're done and the bonus will be how much well you won't be retiring with it oh all right done i'm with you as soon as i've received my bonus my eyes will grow weary like ah uh, not just yet you'll get your bonus afterwards the guard has already been taken once by your promises well you can't hold it against me for trying very well. Call for your men to come. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us.
madam. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Greetings, Your Excellency. It's blocked. Whatever you need to be the talk of all serene. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? 
What might I help you with? Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Lady Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier for D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, yeah. If he finds an alternative solution that is less, uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required.
Sons of Serene, come to me. You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours. 